Scenario 12, Culture, Real Scene 4, Religion. With our global society, it is likely that in your lifetime you will meet people from every corner of the planet. Understanding the religious beliefs of these people is one of the many steps which mankind must take in order to someday prosper together in peace. Written by Sarah Wenner, 2001 My Goal after I finish Scenario 12, I'll be able to apply infinitive clauses and phrases of purpose to describe features and give reasons. I'll also learn something about the most important religions in the world. Introductory Questions Number 1. What are the most important religions in the world? Number 2. Do you belong to any religion? Number 3. Why do you believe religions are important in our society? Introduction The central figure in Christianity is Jesus, or Christ, a Jew who came into this world by immaculate conception to a virgin named Mary. His birth is celebrated at Christmas with hymns and gift-giving. This man was not only man, but also the Son of God and lived in his life without sin. During his lifetime, Jesus performed many miracles and spoke to many people about his Father in heaven. He was arrested for claiming to be God's Son and was nailed onto a cross by the Romans at the age of 33. Christians believe that the suffering and death upon the cross which this sinless man endured paid for the sins of all mankind, and because of Jesus' actions salvation can be achieved by anyone who believes in him. This act of sacrifice is remembered during Lent. Following his death, Christians believe that he rose from the grave, celebrated on Easter, and returned to the earth, appearing to his followers and telling them of the kingdom of God to which he was going. He also promised his disciples that he would return one day to bring all believers with him to that kingdom, to enjoy eternal life in the presence of God. Christians can read of the life of Jesus as well as his ancestors in the only Christian holy text, the Bible. It consists of the Old Testament, which is also considered sacred to Judaism and Islam, and the New Testament. The Old Testament chronicles the lives of Jews and others who lived before Jesus, who had been promised a Savior by God and were waiting for him. This text contains many stories about people demonstrating faith in God and also provides historical information about the era. The New Testament is unique to Christianity, for it centers around the figure of Jesus and his effect on the world. Christians believe that Jesus is the one that the Old Testament foretold, so instead of looking for a Savior, they await the return of Jesus so that he can take them to his kingdom in heaven. The beliefs of Christianity can be seen in the words of the Apostles' Creed, a document which was written to distinguish Christianity from other religions and show basic Christian doctrine in a concise manner. Number of believers, Christianity, as a whole, 2.1 billion. Roman Catholicism, 1.1 billion. Protestantism, 350 million. Eastern Orthodoxy, 240 million. Anglican, 84 million. Oriental Orthodoxy, Assyrians and other Christians, 350 million. Islam. The teachings of Islams are comprised of both faith and duty, din. One branch of Muslim learning, Tahid, defines all that. A man should believe while the other branch, Sharia, prescribes everything that he should do. There is no priesthood and no sacraments. Except among the Sufis, Muslims receive instructions only from those who consider themselves adequately learned in theology or law. 
The basis for Islamic doctrine is found in the Quran. Quran. It is the scripture of Islam written by Muhammad and his disciples as dictated by the angel Gabriel. It alone is infallible and without error. The Quran is comprised in 114 surahs or chapters arranged from the longest to the shortest. For Muslims, the Quran is the word of God and the vessel of the revelation of Muhammad, the last and most perfect of God's messengers to mankind. In addition to the Quran, other documents are also referred to by followers of Islam. A number of additional sayings of Muhammad were complied in the Hadith tradition. The Torah of Moses, Shuhuf, Book of the Prophets, Sabur, Psalms of David, and the Injil, Gospel of Jesus, are also studied and considered to be revelations, although they are believed to have been corrupted through time. Grammar Structure 1 Infinitive clauses and phrases of purpose. Purpose clauses are introduced by conjunctions such as to, so as to, so that, in order to, in order that. A purpose clause usually comes after a main clause to make a complete sentence. Reason clauses are introduced by conjunctions such as as, because, or in case. The children sleep together to keep warm. They lock the door to stop us from getting out. He had given up his job in order to stay at home. I keep the window open so as to let fresh air in. Writing. Exercise. Rewrite these sentences to include a two infinitive purpose clause. Use the words given in brackets. 1. Everyone was pushing because they wanted to get to the front of the gate in order to. 2. Try to write clearly. That way you will avoid being misunderstood. So as to. 3. A lot of people learn English because they want to study in the USA in order to. 4. What do I need to know if I want to be a good lawyer in order to? 5. She woke up early because she wanted to get the room ready, in order to. 6. If you have 50 students, you will need at least 3 teachers, in order to. 5 Articles of Islamic Faith The 5 Articles of Faith are the main doctrines of Islam. All Muslims are expected to believe the following. 1. God. There is one true God, and his name is Allah. 2. Angels. Angels exist and interact with human lives. They are comprised of light, and each has a different purpose of message to bring to earth. Each man or woman has two angels who record his actions. One records good deeds, the other bad deeds. 3. Scripture. There are four inspired books, the Torah of Moses, the Psalm 7 of David, the Gospel of Jesus Christ Angel, and the Quran. All but the Quran have been corrupted by Jews and Christians. 4. Prophets God has spoken through numerous prophets throughout time. The six greatest are Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad. Muhammad is the last and greatest of Allah's messengers. 5. Last Days On the last day there will be a time of resurrection and judgment. Those who follow Allah and Muhammad will go to Islamic heaven or paradise. Those who do not will go to hell. The Five Pillars of Faith the five pillars of Islamic faith are observances in Islam which are duties each Muslim must perform. 1. Creed, Kalima. One must state, there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is Allah's prophet. 
publicly to become a Muslim. 2. Prayer. Salat. Prayer must be done five times a day. Upon rising, at noon, in mid-afternoon, after sunset, and before going to sleep, towards the direction of Mecca. The call to prayer is sounded by the Muezzin, Muslim crier, from a tower minaret within the mosque. 3. Almsgiving, Sakat. Muslims are legally required to give one fortieth of their income to the needy. Since those to whom alms are given or helping the giver achieve salvation, there is no sense of shame in receiving charity. 4. Fasting. Ramadan. During the holy month of Ramadan, faithful Muslims fast from sunrise to sundown each day. This develops self-control, devotion to God, and identity with the needy. 5. Pilgrimage. Hajj. Each Muslim is expected to make the pilgrimage to Mecca at least once in their lifetime, if they have the means to do it and are physically capable of the trip. It is an essential part of gaining salvation, so the old or infirm may send someone in their place. It involves a set of rituals and ceremonies. A sixth religious duty associated with the five pillars is jihad, or holy war. This duty requires that if the situation warrants, men are required to go to war to defend or spread Islam. If they are killed, they are guaranteed eternal life in paradise. Islam has about 1.3 billion adherents. Judaism Judaism is a monotheistic religion which believes that the world was created by a single, all-knowing divinity, and that all things within that world were designed to have meaning and purpose as part of a divine order. According to the teachings of Judaism, God's will for human behavior was revealed to Moses and the Israelites at Mount Sinai. The Torah, or commandments, which regulate how humans are to live their lives, were a gift from God so that they might live according to His will. Statement of Faith Moses Maimonides, a Spanish Jewish who lived in the 12th century, tried to condense the basic beliefs of Judaism into the form of a creed. It is still followed by the traditional forms of Judaism. I believe with perfect faith that the Creator, blessed be His name, is the Creator and Guide of everything that has been created. He alone has made, does make, and will make all things. I believe with perfect faith that the Creator, blessed be His name, is one, and there is no unity in any manner like unto His, and that He alone is our God, who was, and is, and will be. 3. I believe with perfect faith that the Creator, blessed be His name, is not a body, and that He is free from all the properties of matter, and that He has not any form whatever. 4. I believe with perfect faith that the Creator, blessed be His name, is the first and the last. 5. I believe with perfect faith that to the Creator, blessed be His name, and to Him alone, it is right to pray, and that it is not right to pray to any being besides Him. 6. I believe with perfect faith that all the works of the prophets are true. 7. I believe with perfect faith that the prophecy of Moses, our teacher, peace be unto him, was true, and that he was the chief of the prophets, both of those who preceded and of those who followed him. 8. I believe with perfect faith that the whole Torah now in our possession is the same that was given to Moses, our teacher. Peace be unto him. 9. I believe with perfect faith that this Torah will not be changed and that there will never be any other law from the Creator. Blessed be his name. 10. I believe with perfect faith 
that the Creator, blessed be His name, knows every deed of the children of men and all their thoughts, as it is said. It is He that fashioned the hearts of them all, that gives heed to all their work. 11. I believe with perfect faith that the Creator, blessed be His name, rewards those that keep His commandments and punishes those that transgress them. 12. I believe with perfect faith in the coming of the Messiah, and though He tarry, I will wait daily for His coming. 13. I believe with perfect faith that there will be a revival of the dead at the time when it shall please the Creator. Blessed be His name, and exalted be His fame forever and ever. For Thy salvation I hope, O Lord. Three Branches of Judaism These are the three branches of Judaism, which form the framework for the type of lifestyle and beliefs of Jewish individuals. 1. Orthodox Traditionalists who observe most of the traditional dietary and ceremonial laws of Judaism. 2. Conservative. Do not hold to the importance of Jewish political state, but put more emphasis on the historic and religious aspects of Judaism. Doctrinally somewhere between Orthodox and Reform. 3. Reform. The liberal wing of Judaism. Culture and race oriented with little consensus on doctrinal or religious belief. Buddhism. The basic beliefs of Buddhism can be demonstrated in the following concepts and doctrines. The Four Noble Truths. The first noble truth is the existence of suffering. Birth is painful and death is painful. Disease and old age are painful. Not having what we desire is painful and having what we do not desire is also painful. The second noble truth is the cause of suffering. It is the craving desire for the pleasures of the senses, which seek satisfaction now here, now there, the craving for happiness and prosperity in this life and in future lives. The third noble truth is the ending of suffering. To be free of suffering, one must give up, get rid of, Extinguish this very craving, so that no passion and no desire remain. The fourth noble truth leads to the ending of all pain by way of the Eightfold Path. The Eightfold Path. The first step on that path is right views. You must accept the Four Noble Truth and the Eightfold Path. The second is right resolve. You must renounce to the pleasures of the senses. You must harbor no ill will towards anyone and harm no living creature. The third is right speech. Do not lie. Do not slander or abuse anyone. Do not indulge in idle talk. The fourth is right behavior. Do not destroy any living creature. Take only what is given to you. Do not commit any unlawful sexual act. The fifth is right occupation. You must earn your livelihood in a way that will harm no one. The sixth is right effort. You must resolve and strive heroically to prevent any evil qualities from arising in you and to abandon any evil qualities that you may possess. Strive to acquire good qualities and encourage those you do possess to grow, increase and be perfected. The seventh is right contemplation. Be observant, strenuous, alert, contemplative, and free of desire and of sorrow. The eighth is right meditation. When you have abandoned all sensuous pleasures, all evil qualities, both joy and sorrow, you must then enter the four degrees of meditation, which are produced by concentration. Buddhist Precepts There are five precepts taught by Buddhism that all Buddhists should follow. 1. Kill no living thing. 2. Do not steal. 3. Do not commit adultery. 4. Tell no lies. 5. Do not drink intoxicating liquids or take drugs. Other precepts apply only to monks and nuns. 1. Eat moderately and only at the appointed time. 2. 
Avoid that which excites the senses. 3. Do not wear adornments. 4. Do not sleep in luxurious beds. 5. Accept no silver or gold. Hinduism Hinduism is based on the concept that human and animal spirits reincarnate or come back to earth to live many times in different forms. The belief that souls move up and down an infinite hierarchy depending on the behaviors they practice in their life is visible in many of the Hindu social toll policies. The caste system survives and charity towards others is unheard of because each individual deserves to be in the social class they were born in. A person is born into the highest class because they behave well in a past life, and a person is born into poverty and shame because of misbehaviors in a past life. Today, a Hindu can be polytheistic, more than one God, monotheistic, one God, pantheistic, God and the universe are one, agnostic, unsure if God exists, or atheistic, no God, and still claim to be Hindu. This open theology makes it difficult to discuss basic beliefs since there are many ideas about what Hinduism means. However, these universal ideas must be mentioned. Central to Hinduism are the concepts of reincarnation, the caste system, merging with Brahman, or the ultimate reality, finding morality, and reaching nirvana, the peaceful escape from the cycle of reincarnation. Religious documents include sruti, what is heard, and smriti, what is remembered. The sruti include deeply religious things communicated to a seer and recorded. The Vedas, the religious writings, include mantras, hymns of praise. Brahmanas, sacrificial rituals, and Upanishads, 108 sacred teachings. The Smriti include the law, books of laws, Puranas, myth stories, legends, and epic sets of holy myths including Ramayana and Mahabharata. The Hindu paths to salvation include the way of works, rituals, the way of knowledge, realization of reality and self-reflection and the way of devotion, devotion to the God that you choose to follow. If the practitioner follows the path of this way, salvation can be achieved. In anthropology, animism can be considered to be the original human religion, being defined simply as belief in the existence of spiritual beings. It dates back to the earliest humans and continues to exist today making it the oldest form of religious belief on earth. It is characteristic of Aboriginal and native cultures, yet it can be practiced by anyone who believes in spirituality, but does not prescribe to any specific organized religion. The basis for animism is acknowledgement that there is a spiritual realm which humans share the universe with. The concept that humans possess souls and that souls have life apart from human bodies before and after death are central to animism, along with the ideas that animals, plants, and celestial bodies have spirits. Grammar Structure 2 Clauses of Manner We use manner clauses to talk about how something is done. Manner clauses are introduced by conjunctions such as as if, as though, or like. A manner clause needs a main clause to make a complete sentence. The bricks are still made as they were in Roman times. She reacted as if she didn't know about the race. She acts as though she owns the place. Writing. Exercise. Match the questions and answers. 1. I wonder how he gets into the house. A. Maybe his father gave him a lift. 2. How do you think he got there? B. They were at university together. 3. Do you know how she became wealthy?
C. He must have climbed a window. 4. I wonder how Maria heard the news. D. Perhaps she won the state lottery. 5. Do you know how they met? E. I think her husband told her about it. Scientism. This is the belief that scientific knowledge is the only valid kind of knowledge and that the scientific community is the ultimate judge of what is true. Many people who call themselves atheists or agnostics are believers in scientism, as are a number of reformed Jews and liberal Christians. From this point of view, traditional authority and revelatory religious experiences are viewed with suspicion or even contempt. Despite the fact that many of scientism's followers claim to be non-religious or even hostile to religion, scientism's defining beliefs are themselves not scientifically testable and must be classified as religious beliefs. Many fundamentalist Christians believe that scientism has replaced Christianity as the unofficial state religion. Research Spot Look for more information about 1. Population per religion in your country 2. Different sectarian religions 3. Strange religious rituals 